FIFA delegates will be voting on a World Cup host for the first time in eight years, this time to select the host of the 2026 tournament. Now, a simple majority of more than 50% of the total votes will be enough for the win. But how will the countries vote? CGTN's Edmund Nyabola breaks it down. African nation Morocco is making a fifth attempt at hosting the world's most prestigious football event. The North African nation scored 2.7 points out of five in the FIFA bid evaluation report last week. Morocco is up against a joint bid from the United States, Canada and Mexico. The United bid scored four points in the evaluation report. Now, FIFA has a total of 211 member associations or countries, also known as national football associations across six confederations. Of those, 207 FAs will be eligible to vote. The bidding nations, Morocco, USA, Canada and Mexico, do not participate in the vote. Each member association or country is entitled to one vote at the end of the day. A breakdown of the voting blocks now. The Confederation of African Football has 54 member associations. Out of those, 53 will vote as Morocco is excluded as a bidding nation. Most of these African FAs have actually pledged support for Morocco in the vote. The Asian Football Confederation, the AFC, has 46 members, all who are entitled to vote. The European Confederation, UEFA, has the largest number of uh, member associations at 55, and all of them will take part in the voting process. The North Central American and Caribbean Confederation, the CONCACAF, has 35 member associations, and out of those, 32 will be able to vote as the U.S., Canada, and Mexico watch from the side. The Oceania Football Confederation, OFC, has 11 member associations, all who will vote. And finally, the South American Confederation, CONMEBOL, with 10 member associations, also all of them will be able to vote. The voting procedure is such that the FA chiefs from the 207 eligible nations will cast their ballot. In a first from FIFA, the vote will be public, meaning you'll be able to see how all the 207 of them voted immediately after. There are three choices. You either pick the United bid or Morocco or, and this is very important, none of the bids. To win, a bid needs a simple majority, which is more than 50% of the total vote. That would be 105 votes if there are no abstentions. Now, this is very critical. If the choice, none of the bids, gets a simple majority, then the two bids will be deemed to be rejected and a new bidding process opened. If neither of the two bids gets a simple majority, but they get more votes than the option of none of the bids, then there will be a second round of voting without none of the bids as an option. The bid with the most votes in the second round will have won the bidding process. The 2026 World Cup is set to have a number of firsts. For the first time, it will involve 48 teams after the FIFA changes. This means that there will be 16 groups of three teams each, and the number of matches will be 80. But in the end, all teams will still play a similar number of matches as in the current 32-team format. Winning this bid will certainly be a milestone.